remove the nth node from the end of a linked list. It's a very important problem and you must have seen because of frequency, it has been asked by so many companies. Now, it says that we are given the head of a linked list, usually uh, in a tree and in a linked list, you are usually given the head or the root node of the tree. Now, you have to remove the nth node from the end of the list. Make sure that in a linked list, you can only traverse in one direction, which means if I have a list, I can only traverse in from the right, from sorry, from the left. I don't know what is the nth node from the end will be. So I will have to iterate in, okay, what can be the node? I don't know what's because he's saying, okay, nth node from the end, that number n is from the end. I need to know the number from the start to go on to that node. Now to know the number from the start, I should be knowing the size of this list. Because if I, I if I know n is 2, sorry, if I know that I have to go in from the end, end and that nth node, let's say I want to go at the second node. In this question, I want to go at the second node. So if I know I have five elements, I'll subtract two. So I know, okay, I have to go at the third node. Okay, I'll go at the third node. Okay, you can say one, two and three. This is the third jump which I will take and I will reach here. It will be the second node. Okay, one and sorry, like node is second, but I will be going in from here as a fourth node, fourth node. That's going to be my n minus this value plus one from the last. Now, um, that's okay. I didn't hold on, but firstly, let's break it down. So it says that we have to go and remove the nth node. Okay. To go at the location of the nth node, we figured out that I need to know the size of this entire list. Let's say the size will be SZ is the size of this entire list. I know the n, n is, n is given to me, which is two. So, and I know one thing that I will only be able to iterate in from the left. So, okay, I will be very easily able to figure out what is the number of the node from the left. It will be size minus this n, this is my n, plus one. It will be my fourth node, which is size is five minus two plus one, it is four. So the fourth node I will be, and I should be going on to. And this is I should remove because very easily I will have to go in from the left itself. Now remove is one concept. Now that's a very basic. I will just simply take a small example. If I know I have to remove this node B, which means which means that A's next pointer should point to C. I know right now right now B's next is pointing to C. I want A's next should now point to what B's next is pointing. B is, B is next is pointing to C. So I can simply say that, okay, bro, A is next. A is next should actually be my B is next. So A is next should point to what B is next is pointing. B is next is pointing to a C. So this is corresponding to C. And I'm saying A is next should point to a C. So this is, I can simply say, or I can write the same thing as A is next, A is next should point to A is, this is, this is, this is A is next. It should point to A's next, which is right now B. His next, his next is right now C. Then A's next is B, B's next is C. So A's next should actually point to C. This is the two ways to actually, you can write the same thing. Now, okay, Aaron, this is good, which means that you will simply not be referencing your B. So is B lost? In other languages, they have their itself memory allocation and memory deallocation. But in C++, you have to do one thing. You have to go and manually delete it, right? So what you will do is, okay, in a very uh, small programs of hello world and the small link list programs, you will not see the impact of memory manager. But if you are working in a company, let's say like Intuit or like these companies which actually deal with the memory data, like they actually like who all work in cyber security field or who all work in giving the security to other softwares in that memory is very important. So you have to go at the memory level and delete that memory. So for these companies, it's very important that you will go and simply check. Okay. My five, my sorry, my B, my B, the specific value. Okay. I will just keep its pointer at a, as a temp. So A is next. I will store that in temp. I know when this entire procedure is done, I will simply delete my temp so that this B is no more taking any memory. So I'll just simply do delete my temp. So that is B is not taking again. If you will not write this, it will not impact your program, but still that memory will still be there until the program is running. And you don't want your program to run, keep on running and taking that memory itself. 
now uh, we know that we will firstly have to go and find that size then i know that n i will simply subtract it i will go and land onto a node and then i can simply apply this delete operation so first operation was go and grab the size which means it is of the entire list it is on the entire list and get the size okay size i've got it's five now when i've got the size i know that i have to go on on the fourth like this is the fourth node which means n size minus n plus one it is a node which i have to remove but as you saw here itself the node if i have to remove i need the previous node to him so technically i should be landing on to my three to remove my node four so i will do okay land on to my size minus n node i will land on to that node so that i know okay uh, just after this node i have to remove my node so i'll simply uh come on to my size minus n in its node and then i'll simply remove that node simply using the exact same concept which we saw here now uh, you saw that firstly to find the size you will have to iterate the entire list when the size is got okay one pass done then the next pass will be to go on and iterate the entire list up till this point size minus n so that is two pass which you are doing o of n plus n you are taking a time thus and like any space is o of 1 so this is way 1 which is a very basic way but problem is saying can you please do it in one pass which means here i am taking two passes one to find the size other to find n minus size load but i have to do it in one pass now do it in one pass okay which means i have to anyhow for sure land on to my this specific node because i remember okay i have to remove this node but ultimately i wanted to land on this specific node itself which is 3 so my ultimate aim now became anyhow I should land onto this node very easily and very fast without even without taking two passes. So um, what is what is so special about this node three? The special thing is that it is two distance away from my last node. I didn't, um, but okay, what's special about the last node? Last node is special because it's a last node. I can uniquely say it's a last node. And how to know when Q's next is null? you very easily can say it's a last node. So I am just trying to find a pattern between my current P and somehow I can able to figure out, okay, this is P. This is my P pointer. I can point to this specific node. So I'm trying to find a pattern and pattern is, okay, this pointer P is two distance away. When I say two, I actually mean one, two, two distance away from my last node. And last node, I also I can uniquely identify. First node, I can also I can uniquely identify. It's a head node. So I can easily say, okay, I have figured out, okay, my P and Q are two distance, which means this is the N, which was given the question for me. That is two distance away from me. So if I go and backtrack it, which means, okay, if I go one step back, P, Q, I, again, both are shifted one step back. Okay, P and Q, both are, both are shifted one step back. And then P and Q, Aryan, firstly, your, uh, your link list finished here. Why did you put a dummy node here? Like, why? what is the use case of this? Is it required? No, I'll, I'll not say. I'll not say it is, not, it is not required at all. But I will just say this because if you see this example in which you have just one node, that is simply one node and that is your head itself. Now, if I ask you to remove this node itself, then you will have to write an if condition that okay, if your head itself is gone, because in these cases, in these cases, when you are removing this node four, so you can still return the head. You just, you, you just have to modify this and point it your your threes next will point to five but still you can return the head itself very easily but in the situation when head itself is being removed then you have to make sure that you will you are re re returning heads next and then removing your head so that's a slight case in which you have to handle but if you put a dummy node no matter if head is being deleted or any other node after head is deleted you still have to always returns always return dummies next that's it that's it so that's the reason your dummy always helps you okay no matter whatsoever node is deleted in the entire link list no worries always return as an answer head next that's your new head no matter if the head is deleted okay new head will be there if the head is not deleted any other node is deleted simply you will still be pointing to head and that's the reason we will take a dummy node in the very beginning and then i can point that dummy node to my head and again, if you want, you can simply skip this dummy node and have an if condition to handle this head case. Now, now we have realized that I can make sure that my P and Q are here. And then I can simply keep on moving, keep on moving, keep on moving my P and Q. As soon as my Q reaches my end, I know for sure my 
P will be pointing to my correct location at which I can apply my delete operation. Great, voila. So I'll do the exact same stuff. My P and Q pointing in the very beginning. I'll simply keep on moving my Q, only Q up to distance of, I know, up to distance of two. So I'll move, okay, Q once, okay, move, Q twice, oh, N equal to completed. Now my, these are two distance apart. Now I can simply keep on shifting them like this, like this, okay. Now, again, you saw, that is one step done in which they have reached up till here. Now, I will move both of them parallelly, right? See, it is being continued, it is being continued. It is not that, okay, one pass done, then other pass, nah, it is simply being continued here. I'll simply continue. Okay, now both of them will move parallelly. P is here, Q is here. Again, P is here, Q is here. Both are moving parallelly. One step, one step, one step. And will keep on moving until my Q will reach the end. Because I realized when I backtracked, as soon as my Q reached the end, I know that's a good thing. And corresponding to that P, P is my correct location. Now simply apply the exact same stuff that you have A, you have the P here. Simply remove the B by pointing P is next. P is next will actually become okay, exact same thing p is next will become p is next next and that's gonna be your connection again make sure to delete delete attempt because again if you don't delete it that's when that will not impact your answer but it's a good practice if you delete it and that's that gives a good impression that you know what you are doing to the interviewer and simply delete it and that's how you can simply solve it in one pass remember it's again just one pass because at this point your queue came here and then both keep on moving so you iterate on the entire array just once. So now, again, in the code, you will see two loops. So you, you might end up thinking, oh, it's a two pass. No, it's a one pass itself. So firstly, I made, a, I made a dummy node with any value default, you can make it. Now, I specifically mentioned dummies next will be head. Now, my P and Q are two pointers. I showed you that I will keep them as two pointers. Now, in the very beginning, both of them pointing to the dummy. If you remember, both of them are pointing to my dummy node in the very beginning. And in the very beginning, I will move my Q. How many steps? N steps. I will move my Q as you can see. One step, two step. I, I'll move my Q N steps. So I did exact same stuff. I moved my Q N steps. Now, when my Q has moved N steps, so P is, P is still at the dummy node. Q is N steps away from my P. Now, both should move parallelly. So both should, what was that? Both should move parallelly. So until my Q's next is not equal to null. Both should keep on moving parallelly. P's next, P is equals to P's next, Q equal to Q's next. Both will keep on moving parallelly. Now, when this will come out of this specific loop, you will see, bro, now here is your P, P's next whatsoever node is there, remove that node. I'll remove that node. Then I say I'll remove that. I'll simply say P's next will be, P's next will be P's next, which is this value next which is this value p is next which is this value his next is this value it should be pointing to this and you can see exact same stuff and make sure to delete this temp node which is p is next right now is this node this his address should be deleted so i'll delete him i delete its address and that's how i can free up whatsoever temp or this because it is related for me so i don't need it any anywhere i don't need it so i need to delete its address also whatsoever memory he has taken now when this is deleted i can simply return the dummies next because dummy is a simple dummy node its next is actually the valid candidate of head node and we needed this because what if head itself is deleted in future so as to handle that again you can also have add a condition if you want but that's a case which i told you with this, you just, you, just, you just did a one pass. Again, please don't get confused. Here you will see adding one for loop, other while loop. It is two pass. No, it is one pass if the entire list is like this. So this for loop will come and iterate up till this point. This next loop will iterate up till the end. So this is, these two loops together are doing one pass. So that's how time is O of N and space for sure. No space used, just a new node made and then delete it also. So space is O of N. And that's how you can solve it. Cool. It's a very important question. So please make sure you do it very religiously and make sure you know how new and delete works, how addresses and memory allocation in C and C works. That's very important. Bye bye. Take care. Cheers.